Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel if you're new here. If you're not new here, welcome back. This is just gonna be like a mood reading vlog. Like, what? No, because what the fuck is happening? I've been in a major reading slump, so I'm not gonna push it too much. So I'm just gonna read whatever I'm in the mood for right now. I'm reading Magnolia Park's Long Way Home. I have like 100 pages left. Um, I hear it's supposed to be sad, so I want to see if I can finish it tonight. And I don't know, maybe give you guys my reactions. I'm just obsessed. And if you don't know, it's like a gossip girl, but in London. And the drama, the messy relationships, the situationships, I don't know. It's just, it's just, I'm just here for it. I'm here for all the messiness. I'm here for all the drama. Quite frankly, I'm a bit nosy, so I just need to know what's going to happen but yeah i'm going to eat dinner and then we can get to reading spend the night together have a little sleepover if you will okay so i set the vibe and i'm now cozy and in bed and i do not want to be bothered I'm reading. We have our fun bevy for reading and it's just cranberry juice. I don't have any wine, but I'm obsessed with these glasses that I got from the thrift store. Literally stunning. But yeah, happy reading. Finally something good, something great is happening. No, because what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Guys, me and BJ have a love-hate relationship. Like, like sometimes he gets on my last nerves, but then other times there's just moments qualities about him that I can see that are lovable. He's very hard to root for, but he's growing on me. I'm at the end of chapter 75 and it better not, better not go the way that I think it's going. Okay, things are going too smooth right now. I have 12 pages left. I know some shit's gonna go down. That's heartbreaking. That did not, that did not need to happen. That did not need to happen at all. I honestly have no worries right now. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day. It's a super gloomy day outside. So it's perfect for staying home and reading. I wanna to talk to you guys about Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home. I'm honestly super, super sad about the ending. Like I cannot stop thinking about it. And I don't know if this is dramatic, but not even to sound dramatic. Like I've never felt this way about a book before. These books are very character driven and not very plot heavy. So you really get to know the characters and grow to really love them. So the ending was super sad. And I'm obviously gonna give this book five stars. It was just amazing. And the feeling that this book gave me is obviously a five star read. I don't know if it's focused, but I haven't annotated this much since Akatar. So you know, it's a really good book. I'm really not a romance reader. But I am growing to be like, well technically this isn't considered romance, I don't think. But I really love like the messy. I really love the messy. Am I the drama? Am I the problem? I don't know what that says about me. But I like stuff like this. So I feel like I would really like the Boys of Tommen series. They said that that's really emotional. So I might need to look into that. But now I have like a little book haul. Obviously you can see what's in here. I have Rock, Paper, Scissors by Ali Feeney by Alice Feeney. I heard this is a really good author for thrillers and I'm excited to check it out. I don't know too much about the story, but I feel like it's best to go into books blindly. I don't like to know too much. It says one of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. Think you know the person you married? Think again. You know that reminds me of who the fuck did I marry? Have you guys seen that series on TikTok? It's the wild. And then I have another one. I feel like by the size, you might know what this is, but We'll see. It's kind of bent. Oh my gosh. It's not bent too badly, but let me not be picky. The font looks different. I think it's bigger. The font is bigger. Um, I'm obsessed. 
Magnolia Parks, Into the Dark. This is the last book of Magnolia and BJ's POVs. It's sad and I'm going to hold off reading this because I want to make it last for a while. <laughs> this series just holds a special place in my heart now. But anyways, let's choose our next read. Okay, well here's my March TBR. I do have Daisy Hates The Great Undoing on my TBR, but I think I'm gonna take a little break because I'm feeling sad and I don't wanna feel sad. I want something that's like gonna take my mind off of it. So I kinda want like a fun, quick, easy read. So I'm thinking it might be time for The Naturals. The font is huge, giving quick and easy read. Plus Jennifer Lynn Barnes is known for having short chapters, super quick, easy writing. Just like a brief synopsis of what this is about. It's um, basically Criminal Minds, but in teenager form. I think it's like four of teenagers, they are hunting for serial killers. It says to catch a serial killer, you have to think like one. So I think that's what they're doing. And yeah, it sounds like a good fun time. with dumplings. Here you have the first bite. Mm. So good. I don't even remember the last time I spoke to you guys. I got sick for like a week. I had the flu. It's really been over a week and it was a negative 10 out of 10. I do not recommend. Like it was the sickest I've ever been and I still am kind of stuffy if you hear that. It's just what we're working with, but I wanted to, <clears throat> but I wanted to update you guys on the naturals. I did finish yesterday and I took the whole time I was sick. I took the time off of reading. Like I didn't feel like reading and I wasn't going to force myself because that would defeat the purpose of a mood reading vlog because if I'm not in the mood, I'm just not going to read. But with that being said, I do feel like it kind of pulled me out of the story taking that week off. So I wasn't as connected with the story as I would have been if I kept reading. I did really enjoy the book. I loved all the characters. This did really remind me of Criminal Minds because it's very descriptive and I enjoyed our main character Cassie really stepping into the mind of a serial killer and putting herself in the shoes of a serial killer. That was really interesting. I also really enjoyed like the hints of romance, like there's a little love triangle going on, you know that's always fun and I will say I did not expect the ending so that was good overall it was a super quick easy read which I enjoyed and it was fun so I give it a 3.5 stars I'm trying to be more picky with my rating system um so yeah 3.5 stars I enjoyed it but I wasn't like obsessed with it and yeah it just is what it is but I will be continuing this series more excuses for book shopping we love that brief intermission but you guys should be proud of me. I am sticking to my TBR. I'm now reading Addicted to You. I made it to chapter four last night and I already have so much to say. So many thoughts. And I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. The sun is playing hide and seek with me and I'm not wanting to play right now. She's coming back. Okay. If you don't know, this is about two people, Lily and Lo. They are childhood best friends and they both have addictions. Lily is addicted to sex and Lo is addicted to alcohol. And they have this fake dating relationship to cover up their addictions and what goes on in their everyday lives. So there's fake dating. I feel like that's always fun. This is kind of giving me like TV show vibes. Like I can really picture this in my head as a show. And I never read a book about characters that have addictions. So it's very interesting. Like there's this one line... She said, his addiction is screwing with my addiction. Alcohol trumps sex in this place and that kills me. Like, what? So I'm interested in how this is gonna play out because they are both enabling each other. Like, like they both know that they're clearly kind of fucked up, but they're not gonna call each other out because they don't wanna get called out for their addiction, you know? So it's messy. And what can I say? I'm here for it. Yeah, 
Okay, so it's been like not even an hour and I'm bored. <laughs> But I did make it to chapter 8. I think I want to start a new book though because like I said, I'm bored. I'm just needing something a bit more right now. So yeah, whenever I'm back in the mood for this, I'll read this. I think I'm going to try to read Belladonna. I've heard pretty good things, so let's see. I'm going to put this back on the TBR. So I don't know too much about this book, but I know it's like a gothic fantasy romance. I think so. I hear there's also like a mystery element to it, and I feel like that just sounds like such fun. <laughs> lighting isn't too weird but last time i spoke to you guys i was reading belladonna i could not get into this it's not like it's a bad book i just couldn't get into it i made it to page 47 and i'm just not going to force myself because if i force myself i would easily go back into a reading slump and we're not that's not the vibe that we're going for so moving on um addicted to you i don't think this is a bad book i just think that i'm not in the mood for it like a lot of this book has to do with sex and i don't really want to read about sex and obviously like she's addicted to sex so of course it's going to be about sex but i'm not like a prude or anything okay i read credence and gave it a five star so if you know you know i just think you have to be in a mood for it and especially for me i'm not an avid like romance reader so I definitely need to be in the mood for it and so now i know you guys are just like on the edge of your seats like angel what are you reading if you're not i have found a book that i'm really hooked to and that is powerless by lauren roberts i mean are you guys even shocked are you surprised like you guys actually might know what you're talking about because i am eating this up i'm on chapter 12 page 98 and i'm hooked already and if you don't know what this is about i will try my best to explain this but i'm going to sound really dumb i don't know i always feel dumb when i'm talking about books i feel like i'm not qualified but I'm going to explain this to my best ability. Basically, in this society, in this kingdom, you have to have some sort of power. Like, if you're ordinary without a power, they banish you from this kingdom. And our main female character, Peyton, she is ordinary, but she's pretending to be psychic so that she can live amongst the people in the kingdom. And this part is kind of like the Hunger Games, in the sense that she ends up in these trials where she has to go against other people, the elites that have power yeah she basically has to blend in and i'm at the point in the book where i don't really know what happens in these trials but i know there's going to be fighting so obviously she's going to try to win and not die and then we have prince kai and like there's going to be some romance going on it's a romantic and his job is like to kill the ordinaries and she's pretending not to be ordinary so fun i'm having a good old time and i'm only on chapter 12 and that makes me so excited because life is just too short not to be excited about the books that you're reading and yeah i'm going to spend tonight reading this book i'm hooked i gotta keep reading mm. Let's talk books. Let me just say, I am enjoying this book so much. I'm on chapter 26. I am just obsessed, okay? There's so much chemistry between our two main characters, Kai and Peyton, and I love a good slow burn, especially that enemies to lovers slow burn is just chef's kiss. And it's just reminding me so much of the Hunger Games, and I love the Hunger Games, so that's amazing within itself they had the whole training for the trials and they did interviews and stuff like that and the ball was just giving me glimpses of like the vampire diaries i don't know like damon and elena at the ball the vampire diaries is just the best show ever so if you haven't watched it definitely watch it but 
um, it was just reminding me of that and they are in the first trials right now and just imagine Hunger Games but these people have powers. The weapons really aren't necessary but I mean there are weapons but these people have powers so it's just it's just so good. It has me kicking my feet and giggling and also to make things even better I found this playlist on Spotify and it's just making the reading experience even better um, and I'm finding some really good songs that I never even heard of so that's always great but yeah <clears throat> I'm just gonna continue reading because they are in the trials like I said and I I need to know what happens I just need to keep going we feeling about this lighting is it good let me know anyways let's talk about powerless i did finish this book and i loved it so much i was hooked from like page 50 like once homegirl knew that she was going to be in those trials instantly hooked i loved the romance there was just so much chemistry between Peyton and kai like you can cut the tension with a knife i also really loved the fantasy elements to this book it was giving hunger games but these people had powers and this book just kind of had everything that i loved i love a good plot enemies to lovers sorry if the camera angle changed but once again romance is just the bad bitch genre the top tier genre for me at least so obviously i'm going to give this book five stars i'm sure you guys aren't surprised this book is very popular you guys you guys might know a thing or two about what you're talking about okay but let's just do a quick recap of the books that i read within this video my pride and joy my baby magnolia parks the long way home i still think about this and yeah i just hold it near and dear to my heart I've been holding off Daisy Hates, The Great Undoing, because I just don't want to be done with it. And, you know, I am avoidant. I am pretty avoidant, so. I've been avoiding that because I know I'm just going to be so sad that it's when it's over. Because I'll only have one more book after that, so. I'm trying to hold on to it as long as I can. Also, like, it's hard to explain what this book is about because this is the third book in the series. In the, well, kind of the second book to the Magnolia Parks and BJ storyline but Gossip Girl but in London lots of drama but it's a lot more depth with the characters in this book I don't know if I said that word right depth 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 you just get a lot more and you feel a lot more so amazing and then we have The Naturals which I rated a 3.5 star I took like a week off but it was more like two weeks off when I got sick so it's probably why I wasn't connected to it as much but super quick read criminal minds but like teenager form so it's still a good book I do still plan on continuing with the series I think that about sums up this video I hope you enjoyed if you have made it all the way up to this point comment down below this emoji just because I like to see who watched my videos all the way through and it's kind of like an inside joke that only the besties know so comment that down below so I know if you're my bestie or not and yeah I'm gonna go now probably edit this video probably read you just never know. Comment down below some book recommendations if you have them or if you've read any of these books and want to chat about it. I'd love to. And yeah, okay, bye.